We start this afternoon at Korea's Constitutional Court, where the third hearing in the impeachment trial against President Park Geun-hye is taking place. The court asked for more details about the president's whereabouts on the day of the Seolho ferry disaster, while key witnesses summoned to testify today asked to reschedule. Let's bring in our Kim Ji-yeon, who's at the court. Ji-yeon, let's start with the whereabouts uh, of the president uh, of President Park on the day of the Seolho ferry sinking. Sure, Tom. The Constitutional Court justices told the president's legal team that their documentation of her whereabouts and activities on the day of the Seoho ferry sinking in April 2014 is not enough and said it wants the extra details ASAP. Ask the lawyers to submit phone records of conversations between President Park and security officers who briefed her or received her orders on that day. And the document submitted to the court by the president's lawyers is said the president was told about the fair thinking at 10 a.m. That's rough an hour after local media first started reporting on the ferry disaster. It also says the president headed to her presidential residence after breakfast because she wasn't feeling well and she had nothing else on her schedule for the day. The president's lawyers also say she was briefed by email, fax, or by correspondence handed in person every 20 to 30 minutes on the morning of the ferry sinking and issued orders via the phone. Meanwhile, President Buck's former senior secretary for policy coordination, An Jong Bong, was expecting a testimony on Tuesday afternoon, right about now, but he told the court in the morning that he would not be able to attend, saying he had to prepare for his criminal trial slated to start during the week. The court Call former presidential secretary Tong was on again to testify on January 19th, next Thursday, and is expected to make a decision Tuesday afternoon about 4 p.m. today about whether to compel President Obama's longtime confidant Chesun Shi to testify. Back to you, Don.